Hi, so today's topic is we are going to spend some time talking about mixing greens with our warm and cool colors. So here is a basic chart that I like to hand out in um, classes. And um, you can see that there's a bright green, a uh, more subdued green, and then we get into um, some different ranges of colors. So what I've done um, to make things a little bit easier to see today is I have a warm yellow with uh, um, my cool blue and warm blue and my cool yellow uh, with my warm and cool blue. So let's just activate the colors and you should be able to see the differences of these colors and of course they're running into each other which wasn't my plan okay so i am going to start with uh the cool yellow and we are going to mix these colors. I'm just going to take some water and take out some of the cool yellow. And I know that I'm going to get my brightest green when I mix my cool blue with my cool yellow. Just want it. So you can already see it. I had some blues. So that's nice, kind of yellow -y green. And if I add a touch more of my cool blue, yeah. A more neutral green, which is what we usually want to paint with. And if I add just a touch more, I want to make it a little bit more darker and blue green. So when I look at my <coughs> tulip, um, I'm not really seeing that green yet in the leaves. I'm going to clean my brush as best as I can. Uh, Blues and greens really get in the brush. So you have to really wipe it because it, it can affect <coughs> Our paintings. You can see all the green still really coming out. Okay, so I'm just going to take a new uh, paper towel and on this side, just going to make a little bit more of my cool yellow. And now I'm mixing my Warner into my eight. So I'm just getting another. I like using these little watercolor postcards um, when I'm playing with different color. But you can also cut up uh, some watercolor paper as well. So you'll notice I'm. I always add a little bit of the dark color into the light. So just kind of mix it on here. A little granular. That comes from the color. And it's starting to see a little bit more of that in there. Remember we add touch more blue 
starting to get my other mixture to run in there, so that's not good. A little bit, maybe deeper. And if we add a little bit more blue again, there we go. We get more of our blue greens. Okay, so we have here um, pools. Um, so it's the um, Azo, and this is the uh, Azo with one. Actually, it's the same. Um, just showing you the difference between the blues. Okay, so this is the warm blue, and this is the cool blue. I'll just set those aside for a little bit and I'm going to switch plates and let's just soak up this mix because it will definitely affect what we produce. Just activate the cool blue and take another postcard. And this time we are working with the warm yellow. And we're going to see what that does for us. Okay, so it's the warm yellow with a cool blue. So again, make sure the color's out. And this was already activated a little bit. So I'm going to take uh, some of my cool blue into um, warm yellow. So I'm going to move this puddle over just a bit. Okay. Yeah, call it. And if we add a little bit more of that glue to it, so a taller and add a little bit more. a little bit more, but you can see um, the difference in the colors. Now if we add, go back and add a little bit more, it still has that blue mixture. So just comparing these two, so this is the cool blue with the cool, cool yellow. And you can see the differences in the colors already. So let's get with our glass mix. And we are going to use the warm yellow and the warm blue has some X. Make sure your brush is clean. Uh, 
point, a little bit more to that. To be careful because they're being claimed. Seeing that color much better than though it's thinned out. Let's block this out because it's really might be affecting our color. And let's take some more. Clean up that brush and take some more of that yellow. And start up for a little bit. You can see the blue greens in here and the yellows and the undertones. So that was our warm yellow and warm blue. And um, for right now, I think that is a good color. And sometimes I take these little paper punch and uh, can move it around the subject to match the color. Um, you'd be surprised how slightly different that little circle. Like that's much darker because it's away from the light right now. So I hope this helps with understanding mixing greens with um, our six tubes and our palette. Um, obviously, you can get many variations of what we have been doing. Uh, by just changing how much yellow and blue you add to your mix. And um, you can see a variety of colors. So what I love about a limited palette is you're not really limited. You really um, are just learning how to control your colors in a much easier way. So you don't have to stress having 20 tubes of paint at all. So hopefully you're enjoying this. Please like it and share the video with others who are wanting to understand a limited palette and possibly warm and cool colors as well. My name's Elaine M. Bergstrom and you can also find these recordings on YouTube. See you next Friday for Art Talks. Thank you.